A local case on a worldwide stage. Tonight, it's been almost a week since a documentary about the Morgan Nick disappearance dropped on Hulu highlights the case of the six-year-old kidnapped from Crawford County and the family's decades-long fight to find her. And today, we visited with Morgan's mom, Colleen, and the director of that documentary. The mini docu-series goes into great detail about the 1995 kidnapping of Morgan Nick from Alma. In the weeks since the four episodes dropped, We've been really impressed with, with just the public response from what we've seen. You know, there's a lot that we haven't seen across the country, but um, our, our main goal and target of ours was to saturate the local area with the information in the documentary. I mean, that's why we were doing it in the first place. And so far, people have been highly responsive. And while there have been countless stories about Morgan's disappearance, Colleen says this one is different. We decided when, when we were offered the opportunity to do this documentary, for us, it looked like an opportunity to put Morgan's information out there in a different way than it had ever been done, reaching people that have never been reached and giving us the chance to solve Morgan's case and to bring her home. Park says another goal with this was to show the viewer how investigators handle tips. A lot of times the public thinks that when they turn in a tip or they, they call investigators or they call Channel 5 and give information that they may have, they think that it just falls on deaf ears. and. So it was a goal of mine to show how dedicated not just the family, but the investigators on these teams are and have been for 25 plus years. So to show a little bit behind the scenes of that, but also dive in and get to know the Nick family in a very vulnerable way. Doing a documentary felt very raw and very vulnerable, but I think that the director, Devin Parks, was a genius in how he put Morgan's story together and he told it so that people would see the everyday reality of what it looks like. And um, I'm very pleased, I'm brokenhearted, but very pleased with how the documentary turned out. But it's really hard to watch something like this. Um, and sometimes viewing things that are uncomfortable are important to, that you can look back and, and, and think about. And that's been the goal. And I feel like we were able to do that with the series in, in the four parts that we put out. Colleen says the main thing is not to lose sight of bringing Morgan home and is hoping for answers after 27 years. Even if Morgan doesn't get to come home the way we wanted her to, she still has the right to come home. And we should be able to find her and answer those questions. Again, that four-part docuseries is available on Hulu and is called Still Missing Morgan. We're also told additional episodes are expected, but it's not been released when that will be.